So MRD reflects the depth of remission uh, for patients who get a BTK inhibitor based treatment. So a first generation or second generation irreversible BTK inhibitor like ibrutinib, acalabrutinib, xanabrutinib. That treatment is really a maintenance treatment where patients go on and stay on until their disease progresses. They don't get deep remissions. Um, so MRD is less relevant for that type of treatment strategy, more relevant for for BCL2 inhibitor based treatment, venetoclax based treatment, because those patients can achieve a very deep remission, and in that setting, MRD is potentially important and impactful. It does correlate with length of remission or progression free survival. If patients are undetectable for MRD, they will have a longer progression free survival, potentially longer overall survival um, as well. So, for BCL2, inhibitor-based therapy, including combinations with BTK, MRD is an important endpoint because it reflects the depth of remission, it's prognostic for outcomes, it's not yet useful for directing treatment, directing treatment in terms of when to stop therapy, um, but I think we will have data, clinical trial data that is informative and, and helpful in that regard in the near future. Um, but for right now, it's more prognostic for outcomes, um, particularly with venetoclax-based therapies.